Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the Canon 17-85mm lens after an aperture unit or aperture cable change. Also I'm going to talk about what tools we use to do that. Actually this video is part of video series. I have four other videos about Canon 17-85mm lens. In the first video I talk about the typical problems and solutions. The second one is about disassembling the lens. The third one is about changing the aperture cable or the aperture unit, cleaning the sensor bar or sensor strip of uh, the USM motor. And this is the, the last one, which is about assembling the lens. So those are the tools that I will use to assemble the lens. Those uh, two screwdrivers are PH000. This is PH00 screwdriver. Um, I'm gonna use two tweezers to uh, put back the smaller lens parts in its place. And finally I will use a plier with the teeth. So uh, at the end I have to uh, put back a cable and I'm gonna use that plier to do that. Let's start the assembly of the lens with the aperture unit. The aperture cable should be in this part of the plastic ring. Then use those three screws. The cable should go under this metal part. Remove the cover sticker and attach the cable to the metal part. Next up is to use a flat head screwdriver to remove the metal part from the old cable.
then bend the cable. There are signs on the cable where you should bend it. Then stick it to the metal part like where the old cable was. This cable should come out at that part of the lens. Slide the aperture unit into the lens. The next step is to put back the three white roller rings into the aperture unit. If the rings have cut out, then the cutout side goes to the inner side of the lens. The next step is to put back the metal part on the cable with the screw. Now, optionally, use a plastic tweezer to bend that metal part inwards.
The reason is to make more space for the aperture cable. On the left side of the image you can see the factory settings and on the right side you can see that the cable has more space to bend. Next put back that lens group in its place. The aperture cable should be at this part of the lens. Use a tweezer to lean the metal part with the aperture cable outwards to let the lens group slide into the lens. Now insert the remaining 6 white rings into their place. Put back the screws. If you're ready, push back the inner side of the lens. 
This metal part should be in its place in the zoom ring. Now it is time to install the USM motor. The motor has a metal fork which holds and moves the focusing lens elements. This part is moving the lens elements which do the focusing. This plastic stick should be in the metal fork of the USM motor. Use a tweezer to lift off the cables from inside the lens. Make sure that the metal fork of the USM motor and the plastic focusing part is connected. You can check that through this hole. The white line should be at 17 mm. Now put the three screws back to their places. The next step is to install the three rings and screws on the side of the lens.
Then put a zoom brush in its place. Zoom in and out and make sure that the connectors are sliding only in their tracks. Place the black sticky cover to its place. Now it is time to reinstall the plastic ring. Those two cables should go through those holes. Put back the screws. This hole should be empty. This cable goes into this connector. Fix the circuit board in its place by putting back the screw. And then reconnect the cables.
put back the rubber zoom ring to its place. Then comes the focusing ring. Check if the ring is in its place and rotate the USM motor. This cable goes into this connector. I use pliers with tooth to grab the end of the cable and put back into the connector. The line of the plastic cover should be at 17mm. The three holes in the bayonet should be next to the lens connector. Now put back the four bigger screws. And then put back the two smaller screws. Then push the plastic part back to its place and we are ready with assembling the lens. Now do a quick test. Check if zooming goes smooth and the focusing ring rotates the USM motor and the second lens element.
Then test the lens on the camera. View my other video about testing the autofocus and the aperture of the lens. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you find it useful and informative, please click on the like button, subscribe on my channel and watch my other videos. Also donate by PayPal or Bitcoin if you wish. So thank you again and see you next time in another video.